all right we're just starting on our hopefully our door assembly our door framing uh showed you guys another little video how i was starting the framing of the door i don't have it skinned with metal yet and i think what i'm actually going to do is go ahead and try to install install the door um, just with the wood frame make sure everything works and rolls smoothly the way i like <coughs> um, and then i'll see about actually skinning it with metal because if i do have to tear it apart and do something to change the the shape or the size of the door i'd like to do that before i cut metal to fit on it First step here for getting the door up is just getting this header beam up. I just took two, uh, two two by fours and just laminated them together. You can see I've got nails every four or five inches just about, which is way overkill. Um, and then six nails on either end as far as the toenail. So plenty more than enough to um, hold up this little lightweight door. But I think with that, I'm not gonna put any sort of uh, cripple or blocking on either side to hold it up anymore. I think it's gonna be plenty strong, but. If I do feel I need to, no big deal. I can slap a little piece of blocking right here and a little piece right here just to give it a ledge to sit on. But, I mean, the door is going to weigh like, I don't know, 30 pounds, something like that. So, it's hardly worth it. But, got the, uh, the rough framing up there. So, now I can, I guess, try to get this track cut and uh, see about getting it hung up there. All right. So, the header's up and obviously the track is up. Now, this is going to be the true test here for uh, whether or not my little plan works. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but what I'm actually doing is I'm using a only a six foot piece of track for a four foot door. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to offset my, my door hangers are actually going to be, um, a little bit off center. So the door, um, when the door is all the way open, it'll be like this. The door will hang out past the end of the track. And when it's all the way closed, the right hand door will hang out past the end of the track. So my rollers, my hangers and rollers will be kind of right centered on the door here. And I did that trying to be a cheapy, obviously, because this track and hardware and stuff is, is expensive. Um, I think it was about, oh yeah, we got $65. $65 for a 12 foot stick. So basically I bought a 12 foot stick, cut it in half to get two sixes, one for this door and one for the one on the other side. Cause they don't actually make a six foot track they have a an eight a ten and a twelve oh so anyway that works out to you know a little over five dollars a foot five dollars and five dollars and twenty cents i don't know whatever it's a little over five dollars a foot so if you can get away with running less footage of the track hooray and i mean this isn't a big heavy door it's gonna be very very lightweight it's just this wooden frame and then the metal on it's gonna be a very lightweight door it's only to block wind so I don't think we'll have any problem with it, but I went ahead and set my my roller hangers up here. You see they just roll along real nice. The goats are being very noisy because they started weaning, so the mothers are very upset right now. I'll have to um, they make some sort of stopper end cap. I'm not exactly sure. We were looking for them at, at TSC and they didn't have them, but worst case is I'll just drill a hole in the top and just run a bolt down through it. Just something for these rollers to hit so they don't roll off the end of the track. But for right now, I'm gonna keep pushing ahead. I said I wanna get this uh, door frame up to where I can roll test it, make sure everything works like I think it's supposed to. And uh, then we'll see if I'm putting metal over it. So the trick is, with it being only six foot of track, but a four foot door that you think you would need eight foot, basically my first, my leftmost hanger here has to be mounted um, to where it gets four feet of roll on the track. Let me think about that for a second and then I'll explain it because I know I've had all this figured out but now I'm drawing a blank. Okay, one little tip I'll just share with you guys <clears throat> when hanging these, installing these hangers, these actually have to go on the inside of the door because of the length of the bolts. You have to run your carriage bolt heads through on this side and let the stub of the bolt stick out. So I'm actually gonna 
kind of put this door together backwards, so to speak, which in my case is fine because it's all uh, uniform. But what I was going to show you was on this hanger, you've got this extra stop that, that hangs down, which allows you to adjust the height of your door a little bit. Well, when you go to slide that on, it hits. Okay? See, it hits up underneath there. Uh, and so what I did was I actually lined everything up where I wanted it, and then I smacked the head of that bolt with a hammer right there to make an impression, and then drilled just a little countersink hole, if you will. So now it sets on there all the way down. So now I'll mark, and I'll drill these two holes. You can see the bottom one hangs past. That's okay. Two is going to be more than enough, so I'll drill these two. We'll get the other one put on. I've already countersunk it in the same manner, and we'll be ready to hang this door. No, don't eat goat food, buddy. see what else it's, it's uh it's hanging out against the metal i think the install instructions say that you're supposed to i think they say you're supposed to put like a header base here to set your track out off metal a little bit which my metal here it's a real shallow um roll roll panel um a corrugated panel and i don't have the corrugated panel here so when I put it, I could put it up and I can re-bolt so that this sits on top of the corrugated panel and that would set everything out a little bit. Um, otherwise, I just have to swing the door out towards me a little bit and then it rolls just fine. So the metal brackets are rubbing against my metal siding. But now you guys see how it works. So at this point right here, the door is all the way open so the gate can come through it. And you can see we're hanging out off the end of the gate, out off the end of the track that foot. When we go back the other way, our rolling door is now effectively closed. Which I need to trim all this in, obviously. But our rolling door is effectively closed at this point. And our door here is flushed up. And we're a foot off the end of the track. So yay! That's the first rolling barn door kit I've ever installed. And I know it's not exactly perfect by their book, but by golly, she's going to work. Um, so, yeah, sounds like my kids are hurt. I better go check on them. <laughs> okay, so the last item was the end caps. And this, actually, this kit of rolling hardware that I bought actually came with them. Kind of funny, the kit that I bought for the rolling hardware came with the end caps yes but the hangers that I bought did not come with the lag bolts so that's the one I bought through Home Depot it at uh, tractor supply all those hangers in a big tub with it and a bunch of lag bolts in the bottom of the tub so you just make sure you grab a lag bolt with the hanger and you're good to go uh, so something you guys might notice was that my hangers are actually cantilevered off to one side right there's no hangers out here and normally you'd want to put your hangers evenly spaced they say on them 24 inch on center so really this thing wants at least three hangers on it um yeah i'm not doing that because i'm cheap and again because i really i just didn't want to have to bother putting a header back here because i'm lazy but it'll work okay this track is plenty durable enough that you know your door is not gonna when your door swings out here it doesn't it, it you know it can maybe i'm trying to push down on it now if you left it hanging open all the time, maybe you'd try to make this track sag over time, but I really don't think so. Uh, but what I want to show you was on these end stops, it worked out perfectly. So the end stop is just this little piece of bent metal. You can't really see it, but there's a 
Yeah, maybe you can. There's a, it, it's a tab on this side and a tab on this side. So you just shove it in there and it's got holes pre-drilled through it. Now you have to drill these holes in your track wherever they belong, obviously. Um, so what I did was I put the hanger over the outside first to mark the hole, drilled it. It wasn't quite perfect with where the end cap needed to be, so then I shoved the end cap in, and then I just re-drilled it real quick to kind of ream it out so the bolt slid through easy. And the other bonus was that this bolt that I used, and the one on the other end, was the extra bolt here. So they send three bolts per hanger. I only use two. Hey, so this Daddy. spare bolt is what I use for end cap. So she's all up, looking pretty. Uh, it doesn't roll all that smooth, uh, but that's my fault. If I just put a spacer behind it and space it out off that metal about an inch, it'll roll smooth as can be. Oh, I was gonna tell you, so we figured because I was using a short track with the long door that we need at least, we'd need our hangers to be at least a foot from the end of the door, but I said, oh, I said I'll make it 14 inches just to be safe. That works out absolutely perfectly because of where the wheel, where your wheel up there hits that stopper. Look at this, it works out dead on. Four feet when we're all the way open. four feet here we're all the way shut when that wheel catches so it works out perfect if you guys are going to try playing a little game like this like i did where i you know made my short track and kind of cantilever the door off of it you can do it um but don't go for this that at, give yourself that extra two inches worth of play for your um cap and the width of your hanger so give yourself an extra two inches whatever offset you use if you do a eight foot track with a 12 foot door i don't care do the difference and then give yourself that extra two inches for the that you lose for the end cap that works perfect perfect so because i'm lazy i probably don't want to take this thing down again so i'm probably going to go find some scrap metal tomorrow because it's getting dark already i'm gonna go try to find some scrap i know i've got it i'm gonna close in this triangle above and i'm just gonna lay the metal over top of those bolts just to kind of weatherproof it a little bit more i've got a long skinny strip i'll run right down here beside the door and then i'll cut some pieces to go on the door and um yeah, guess I'll show you that when it's done, maybe.